how to copy this circuit to real breadboard. This is the real breadboard. Okay? This is the real breadboard. And we will use this, okay? For studying here in the lab. But if you want to make device by yourself, and you, inshallah, you can do. You can make, you can create your devices that you, as, as your needs. Okay, when you finish this uh, physics, so you should use this one because this one is proficient. Now, what's the difference between this and this? This the the two is like you know in the computer like motherboard, what we call motherboard. It's like air that I put my device on it. So this is the motherboard. Actually, we call it as breadboard. Okay, in electricity or in circuit. Now, what I have here, I have nine holes in each square. And this nine holes represent one point because this is nine holes connected to each other. So this represent one point. So each nine holes represent one point. How many points I have? One, two, three, four. Right? And this is one, two, three, four, five, six. So here I have 24 points. Right? Here, what I have? Here, each column has five holes. Each column here. Five holes, and this five holes is one point. Okay, how many columns I have here? Upper, upper. I have 64 columns, and down I have 64 columns. So I have one, two, eight points here. So for professional work, use this because you don't need to to do these things. This, this is connected here in this breadboard. But for this, I can connect the resistor directly. It's just put it on the hole. It's very easy and you can use it. It's very practical. Okay? But for the studying purposes, we will use this. Okay? I have this circuit. This is 1 ohm. And this is 20 ohm. And this is connected to the the circuit, right? And I said, please connect the circuit. And you have this breadboard. And I gave you five, I gave you five ohms, five resistors, sorry, five resistors, okay, and the power supply. And I said, please connect. I will, you can start from any point you want. Ten. From ten? ten? From here or from here? From here. From here. Down or up? Oh, as you wish. Oh. Okay, let's start here. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I will. Now I will put 10 on. Where? On the breadboard. Let's say I will put it here. This is 10 on. Okay, like this. Just see it? It's like this. This is, let's say this is 10. Okay? Now, I want to reach this point. You see, I have not reached this point. Now I want to reach this point. When I reach this point, I'm in this point, I have two ways, right? Yeah. One to 20 ohm and one for 3 ohm. So let's say this is 3 ohm and this is 20 ohm. This is 20 ohm and this is what? 3 ohm. Okay? So I connect this. You see, I am not reaching this point until now. Just I passing the resistor and I connecting this like this. So this is let's say 20 ohm and this is 3 ohm. Okay. Now what I have from from 3 ohm, I have two ways. Right. I have two ways. One go to the 5 ohm one go to. and one go to the negative direction of the battery. So from 3 ohm, where is the 3 ohm? It's one going to the what? To the 5 ohm. So this is 5 ohm. And the other way to the positive direction or negative direction of the battery? Negative. negative direction. So I can get from here that this is the negative direction of the battery. Because battery or power supply is outside the breadboard. Just connect the wire. Okay? So from the 3 ohm, from the 3 ohm, I have 5 ohm here, right? And 
this is going to the negative direction of the battery. So this is, see here, this is going to the negative direction of the battery. Clear? Yes. Okay. Now I finish what? I finish this one and I finish this one. This one. As you see, I'm passing a 20, but I'm not reaching this point. I'm passing 5, but I'm not reaching this point. Now what I have? I have 20 and 5 ohm should be connected together. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Where is the 20? This 20. Where is the 5? This 5. I should connect this point and this point. So I will use what? I will use wire. So now I connect 5 and 20 because he said 5 and 20 is connected directly. Where's the wires? This is the wires. See? How oh, many? 3. So this is the 5, right? See? One. This one, this one, and this one. Okay? So I connect the, what? I connect 5 and 20 directly. Now this point, actually, this point represents this point and this point and this point and this point. All represent only one point there. Okay? Now from this point, what I have? I have 1 ohm, right? So I can do it here. This is 1 ohm. Because this point, I can use this and connect. I can use this and connect. So this is what? This is 1 ohm. So I finished the 1 ohm, but I am not reaching the points here. Right? Now I will put here what? 1 ohm. So this is the, say this is the 1 ohm. Right? This is 1 ohm. And he said 1 ohm and 10 ohm is what? Is connected. So I should connect this point with this point. So I will put wires here. Okay? So I put wires here to connect this point and this point. So here, this, this, and this. So I connect it. You see? Yes. Okay. Now, I finish this, I finish this, I have what? I have from this to what? To the positive direction. What's, what's the, this point, where is it? Is this point, or this point, or this point, or this point? It's the same. It is connected by what? So just take it from here and put it where? On the positive direction. Okay? So here I can use it. And as you see, this is to the positive direction. So I connect the circuit now. Now just compare between the map, okay, electronic map, and the real circuit. You see how much different? Because it's the same. It is the same. No difference at all. It's the same. Okay? This, this circuit is copy of the circuit. Copy, normal copy. Not more than this. And you know how to connect it? The procedure, this is the last part of the lecture. If you have any question, please ask me. No problem. Here I have nine holes, right? So if I connect any holes, it's enough. I mean, each point gives me nine things. Okay? So you can work this one. Is it clear? This is the circuit. This is the man and this is the thing. Sorry, I am not. When I connect this to the bottom of I should put this. I mean, use your pencil and make your pencil on the circuit. I mean, when you finish some element, just cancel that element. Okay? Because it's very important. And it's very easy. Connecting circuit is very easy. And one of the most aims here in the lab is to learn how to connect. I mean, when you finish physics to lab, you should know how to connect this thing. Okay? okay.